Hi everyone, it's Taki here. I am currently studying architecture in London, specifically at the University of the Arts London or UAL. And in this video, I'll share with you my final outcome for one of my most recent projects, which is called Threshold. So I recorded myself doing my final model for the project, but for mistake, I deleted it. But it's okay, um, I got the final uh, images that I took. So the threshold project uh, was basically a brief where we were asked to design a threshold. It could have been realistic or a metaphorical threshold. Obviously I chose the metaphorical one because it's the more fun, it's where you can be more experimental and basically we had to design something that emphasizes uh, threshold. Here I got my primary research. This is how I usually start all of my projects with Ada primary or secondary research. So yeah, yeah, I took some images on my area, trying to record uh, any thresholds. Then I did some uh, quick sketches. I timed myself, I think I gave one minute for each, yeah, I gave one minute for each sketching, trying to get some ideas, but I didn't really get any. However, these exercises, they are really helpful. Then I did some area, and secondary research. So this is the part where I spent a lot of time in, in selecting which area I wanted to design in. I ended up spending like two or three days where I wanted to do a um, structure. And the reason why I selected Hyde Park is because I was really confused. I didn't know which location to select. So I decided to do a list of places that I like to visit or I visit frequently here in London with my friends or family, so by myself. And I ended up picking a random location from there and it turned out to be Hyde Park, which at first I was a bit stressed about because I didn't really have any ideas on what I could design there. By then it turned out to be a really good place because there is the Serpentine Gallery where tons of architects every year they design some sick pavilion so I had a lot of secondary research and artists uh, from who I could take inspiration. I changed my dress because I'm finishing recording this the following day but yeah now let's move on. Site and initial ideas. Here basically we started with the bigger picture with the bigger location my one it's as I said Hyde Park and now we are just narrowing it down to the specific site where our design would be placed at and these are my three potential ones. I tried to trace over it and just play around with form how my ideas could look like and in this uh, stage I was still unsure about what I wanted to do. I had two ideas one of them was to make like a tunnel that um, it's made of wood the local food that you can find on the trees in Hyde Park and the idea was that um, it would basically people would just go through it and it's a way to make you embrace more the surroundings and the idea came from Kango Kuma's uh, pavilion in Victoria Australia that he made it's called botanic pavilion or something and the other idea was the one that excited me the most which is basically to make a structure I wasn't yet sure how I wanted to persecute that idea of making a structure that doesn't make you feel when you're inside of it. Basically it just thins the threshold between interior and exterior. At the point that when you are inside of it, you, you still feel the exterior environment around you. But yeah, this one I still didn't know how I wanted to persecute this idea properly. And I just did some random sketches. Sketch modeling, I also made a design with me video where I made these pieces. I spent 10 minutes for each one of them and this is basically the final outcome. Just to find any form that I wanted to develop further, but um, it wasn't the most successful. I still didn't know what I wanted to do. Collages, this was basically a task that we were given to make a collage that um, can show how our structure will be used basically the program of the building. Refining ideas. This is the stage where I started getting proper full-on developing the project properly and making a final model at the end. I went back and did a bit more secondary research and I found this pavilion which, which was in um, Russia, Moscow in a music festival and I liked how the threshold between exterior and interior is very basically thin. You can see the indoors when you are outside and you can see the outdoors when you are inside and uh, I decided to develop basically my project through the through this idea. And I also selected the specific site in this case, which is basically 
here next to the Serpentine Lake and I did some more sketch modelings. This is my final model. I made it with cardboard and wrapped it with tin foil and as you can see I also used tracing paper for the top and the idea was that it would be a place like a pavilion where people can uh, go together and it's mainly focused on being used when it's bad weather and when it's raining so that let's say you go to do a picnic and as you know the weather here in London is really bad it's gonna be 35 degrees now and in five minutes it's gonna drop to 20 degrees so the program was that people can keep doing their picnic when it's raining but at the same time they're not gonna feel as if they are inside a building because of the openings they still can sense the outdoors around them but they will be protected, sheltered from the rain and the wind and overall bad weather. And I used tin foil because I wanted my structure to camouflage with its surrounding so that it doesn't disrupt, it doesn't it stand out from the nature, it merges with the, by the same time, as I said, it can shelter you from rain. And then I have my final visualization, which is basically a collage uh, trying to visually convey how the structure will perform in the site selected. It's not the best collage because I spent, I think, around half an hour. I didn't have much time to complete it. I did it in the proper last minute, in the day before the submission. But yeah, that's my final piece. That's all from me in this video. If you are curious about how I made my quick sketch models, and if you haven't already, you can go and check out the previous design with me and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.